And now, from a secret government facility somewhere in New Mexico. Good evening, ladies. I'm Agent Smith with NSC, and this is Special Agent Brown. Do you mind if we record this interview? We want to thank you for meeting with us so shortly after your ordeal. You two have experienced the first ever verified case of alien abduction. So naturally, you're of great interest to this agency. Uh, yeah, this is crazy. Uh, we're just two gals um, hanging out in a small town, and we see a UFO in the woods, and we're here with the government. So, about your experience, after the blue light uh, pulled you into the spacecraft, what's your next memory? Well, um, I came to, and oh wow, there was this beautiful being, and it was made out of this calming light, and it sort of just touched my head, and and oh, it, I just felt every emotion in its purest form, and and. I, I, I don't know, it was just beyond amazing. And, sir, I, I started to cry. And you, Miss Rafferty? Wow! <laughs> what floor were you on? <laughs> ah, I woke up in a dirty metal dome and I got 40 gray aliens staring at me while I peed in a bowl. <laughs> Interesting. And uh, were these beams also bathed in light? Uh, no, no. They were, uh, they were, you know, gray, and they had the big eyes and the little mouth, and they just stared at me while I peed. You know, <laughs> you know I don't think I was dealing with the top brass. Miss <laughs> Rafferty, how did they instruct you to urinate? Was it telepathically? Uh, no, no. See, uh, I woke up and I had to pee like a camel. So, so I started peeing. And then there was like this one gray alien, he like uh, taps the wall and he points at the bowl. Well, I got the hint. So I kind of duck walked on over <laughs> and I peed in the bowl. I see. Now, when you woke up, did you still have your clothes on? Uh, well, um, well I, I was wrapped in this robe of warm, glowing energy, and, and it was like a blanket of pure love. Uh, yeah, yeah, a little different for me. Um, yeah, so, um, I had the shirt that it came in with. My pants were gone. So my coot coot was hanging out, <laughs> and I was full porky pigging it in a metal doll. So, did you both stay on the same ship the entire time? <laughs> well, <laughs> my body did, but my consciousness was raised like, it was just lifted. And, and it was like I was shown what lies beyond time and space. And, and it was so beautiful. And uh, oh, I'm, I'm just, just thinking about it just makes me want to cry. Do you need a tissue? No, no, I didn't use my frame. No. But anyway, um, excuse me, it's just so overwhelming. <laughs> So um, this alien showed my mind um, that kind of like the furnace of all creation is what we would all call God. What? <laughs> this fancy cat seeing God. Meanwhile, I'm starting phase two. <laughs> I'm sitting on a stool while 40 gray aliens are lined up. They're taking turns, coming up gently, knocking, making, batting my knockers around. <laughs> <laughs> Did you get any of the knocker stuff? No, I didn't. I didn't get no knocker stuff. <laughs> Did you feel threatened, Miss Rafferty? 
No. No. <laughs> no. They were, uh, they were real respectful about it. Uh, they, uh, see, they were, they were in a line, and um, one by one, they'd step up, and they'd slap a knocker, and they'd run to the end of the line, wait for another turn. <laughs> it, didn't, it didn't hurt. It was like, uh, excuse me, Sharon, it was like you slapping and, and like, you know, like, like bat batting and slapping and like, like that. You know, it was uh, no harm, no foul. Oh, oh, that hurt. Perhaps they were collecting biological data. Uh, no. No. <laughs> It was super off the books. <laughs> I swear, there was, this, there was this one alien. He's standing by the door, and he's like peeking around like this. I think he was the lookout. <laughs> oh, man, yeah. Listen, it wasn't my worst Wednesday night. <laughs> Thing where you, you were seeing God oh, or something. Oh, it was amazing. It was just simply amazing. 